um, just because I'm curious, how 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 prevalent in the industry is a 60-40 split? 60-40? Um, I mean, it depends on the situation. Again, you should have, before you even start to enter in any contract, you should have an attorney. And you should have, you know, you should have management that's qualified to actually have that intelligent conversation with the attorney. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Um, just because I'm curious, how 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 prevalent in the industry is a 60-40 split? 60-40? Um, I mean, it depends on the situation. Again, you should have, before you even start to enter in any contract, you should have an attorney. And you should have, you know, you should have management that's qualified to actually have that intelligent conversation with the attorney. Okay. How how many times does 60-40 splits usually happen? Well, in the beginning, you know, when you first, first start, you usually see, you know, similar splits to that. But again, uh, once the artist starts to take off and make some real movement, usually it gets to a good negotiation should be at a 50-50 at that point. Got it. Okay, so it can be 60-40, you know, it, it, that's not a horrible deal, but the advance for her was garbage. So a lot of stuff was really, you know, just in general, it wasn't a deal, wasn't a good deal to begin with. So the artists that are a lot less than her would have got way more. They get way more money than that on the advance side. So her advance wasn't wasn't good either. No, God, no. It should have been like you know, she should have been at fifty to hundred k easy. That's average. That's average. That's just an average person that really just they just have a vision for for the person, um, the individual that they're hiring. So you know, as far as you know, what did she get on the advance? What's that? Um, what did she get? Yes. Well, what I what I saw, what I heard was uh, she got a ten thousand dollar advance. Oh wow! Again, that that's from the uh, the independent label that signed her originally. <clears throat> that's what I heard. Okay, now you know I, I can't verify. Of course, I don't have a contract in front of me. I do know a lot of people at Rock Nation, very close to a lot of people over there. And, uh, you know, obviously, when she has a legitimate manager, they're going to say, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, why would you ever agree to this, you know? And usually what happens is Rock Nation more than likely is going to buy out the contract is what's going to end up happening. And they're not going to, you know, they'll agree to a certain price. You know, it's going to be a difficult situation legally. There's going to be a lot of lawyers involved. You know, she's, she's going to go through it. She's definitely going to go through it. You know, because nobody's going to just give up you know, their golden goose. That's it's a fact. Going to be tough and they're going to want a lot of money, even though, you know, I'm quite sure she'll be short term. As far as an artist, I don't really see her, you know, doing more. Like I told you earlier today, like three to five years tops for her. I say three, you know, because again, if they don't rebrand her and get her more into a more, you know, long term, substantial, uh, you know, uh, vision, then uh, I don't see it more than that. So, really so cool. me and you both agree this hot girl summer thing ain't going to last for 10 years. Oh, definitely not. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that thinks that he definitely is a fool, you know, that's just, you know, you got to understand, like, like, there's been girls doing this, what she's been doing for years. Are you kidding me? Look, look at history. There's, there's been artists, uh, female artists that have been doing it for years and years. Then they got branded again and got moved more towards the pop side, you know. That's a fact. Because. You know, any any female can shake their butt. Anybody can be a stripper. Anybody can do, you know, come on. I mean, you know, think about it. You know, and I'm not saying she's a stripper. Definitely not. Don't take it that way. But what I'm saying is anybody can shake their butt. So, you know, prime example, Cardi B started off as an end of that sensation. You That's know, fact. she was, uh, everybody really liked her, everything else. Then, but she was already branded a certain way. So she went into the music side. Now what she did was she got some really, really good writers who are very close to one of the writers. I actually am doing a lot of business with him right now. Copy. And one of her writers is, you know, you know, building up his own career as well. Great guy, good person out of New York. And, uh, you know, Cardi started off that way. Now she got really good writers. So now she's putting out some fire material, 
you know, and, and it just, it is what it is, like they're crushing it, you know, because she's got the good image, she already had the following, now they built it up from there, and she just says off-the-wall stuff, but now her being a mother, as you see, a lot of that stuff is changing. Little by little, she's going to migrate into more of the pop sector, you'll see. Not she's just, going towards now as well, she's another one. Not just you know, that, but, so. but I just want to point out, Cardi B is a great performer, just in general. Like, she performs oh, yeah, really well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I've done concerts with her, man. Oh, yeah. I booked... I booked her last show when she was in Connecticut before Bodak Yellow was released at Toad's Place in Connecticut. Copy. Which Toad's Place is where, like, uh, uh, Drake has been, um, you know, um, the Rolling Stones have been there. Jim Morrison has been there. Some of the biggest names in the business for eons. Place has been around forever. Mm. Just FYI. Yeah, so I put, I put her in there just before Bodak was released. So, okay. uh, yeah. I, I just wanted to I just wanted to make sure that we had we understood that there was a slight difference. While I'm not trying to take anything away from what uh, Megan Thee Stallion does, there's just a a real big difference between what Megan Thee Stallion um what she's doing and what Cardi B is doing, and their skill level as oh, far huge. as I'm concerned. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's totally totally different. Yeah yeah. I I mean, in my opinion, I feel that you know Meg could use some other writers as well to get her more, you know. Uh, more towards the pop world tomorrow you know that's where she has to migrate to she has to she has to definitely has to transform into something different you'll you'll see it you'll see it little by little just watch you'll see it little by little and you know your fans will notice that as well all right so um you mentioned uh, a moment ago that what was what's most likely going to happen is that her contract is going to get bought out by rock nation correct like this is the path that's that they're going yeah. to that always happens okay. with the labels. Okay, I'll give you an example. I represent an artist right now. Okay, my artist's name, his name's 12 Honcho, okay? And he's with Sniper Gang. He's been with Sniper Gang for a while. You know, he's one of the affiliates. It's very close to Kodak Black and that team, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I say that to say is that he's already used with one label prior, okay? And the label, you know, he, he decided to leave the label and go to another one. And how it usually works is when the other one comes in, they'll take and buy out the contract, take care of all the advances, anything else that happened prior, you know, take over the music that was created as well. So then they'll work out the splits and they'll figure out, you know, they'll work out the split sheets as well. And then it goes through two labels, but one's going to be the major label. You know, one's going to be, you know, and, and I can't say which label we're signing to because, you know, we haven't Got completely finished the deal. But that's how it works. That's standard business in the industry, you know. It's like anything else, you know. Uh, uh, when you buy out a corporation, again, the music industry is actually a business. Again, we talked about that today. Yes, like, don't did. fool yourself. It's a real business. There's corporations involved. There's major attorneys involved. So, you know, if, you know. <laughs> somebody you know, in the comments says, somebody in the comment section, uh, Shaw Murder, shout out to Shaw Murder. Shaw Murder says, so it's like switching from AT&T to Sprint <laughs> when you're on mobile. They, they they take over everything. Pretty much. Yeah, exactly. That's what will happen. They'll, they'll take over everything. And, uh, you know, they, you know you, your upgrading is what you're doing from the independent world to the, and, and that happens to every artist. Tell them every artist is going to be independent, start off independent. And I got to shout out A Boogie's team, one of the best teams I ever met. Those mm. guys are amazing. Okay? So Highbridge, the label, was independent forever. Okay? Got and it. them and A Boogie, they built that label, built it up, built up Highbridge with A Boogie, you know, taking off, doing very well. And you know what they did? They partnered They partnered with Atlantic Records. Mm. So Highbridge is now with Atlantic Records when it, it, when it references to, you know, A Boogie. Okay, which is amazing. Like you can find that out, but they did a great job. Those guys, as far as as a street, uh, you know, a street team of guys, did amazing. You know, Bob, shout out Bubba, shout out QP, shout out that whole team, shout out M. You Not know, for nothing, all but all of their rollouts are amazing. All of A Boogie's What's rollouts that? are amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. They're strategically placed. Like like I said again, they go. You know, they work with a label. You know, and in the label Atlantic, and they they do very well do a very good job but of course again hybrid is the one that helps kind of you know piece it all together yeah. you know those guys are very very you know intelligent individuals so if there was a label that, that anybody in new york was looking to work with hybrid is definitely the guys and i definitely highly recommend them. they're good great guys you know so 
All right. So, and I'm assuming they're taking care of their artists with halfway decent contracts. Oh, another question I'm going to ask. Oh, you yeah. No, they're doing good deals. Definitely. Yeah. There's no way it should be. Okay. So, there are bad deals out there. <laughs> We're going to acknowledge that there are actually mm -hmm. bad deals out there. Oh, there's a shit ton of bad deals. See, mm -hmm. when you get to the bad deal side, is when you get to independent people that are trying to get into the business and basically and or have worked the business a little while and never really broke an artist because mm -hmm. those are the people that are really really hungry so they're like damn well, let me get this let me get that like they'll over they'll overdo it you know and, and not really know the business they think that oh when i got a contract i'm good for life mm -hmm. you know even the term even the term of the contract because when an artist gets bigger that artist definitely should be renegotiating their contract. Like it should be on average, you know, your contract can be negotiated and discussed after one year. Usually that's how it works. Okay. If it's done correctly, if your attorney does it right, you know, that's usually what it is. Or it can be two or three years, depending on if it's a major deal. Like let's say. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.